Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Story. Uh, we are back in the world right where we left off uh, with our storage vessel deposited, hopefully safely. And we were in the middle of transporting all of our goods across this lake. And I have to wrap that up for us here. So I will start things right off with a classic time lapse. And I will see you all when we're done. Alright, and just as we go make this last trip, I figured I could take the opportunity to talk with you a little bit, because I did have a few things that I wanted to say. I know I just said this last episode, uh, but I want to say thank you. Last episode, at the time of recording, uh, the first uh, episode of this series was approaching 100 views, and for that, I was eternally grateful. In the uh, two days, roughly, since I recorded that last episode, episode one has gone from 100 views to almost 350 views, and this channel has gone from 20 subscribers to, I expect, overnight, um, if we keep our current trajectory, 30 subscribers, and by the time that uh, you're watching this, we should be over the 30 mark. Not only that, but the uh, subsequent episodes, 2, 3, 4, and 6, are all over 100 views already. And episode 5, surprisingly, is trailing just a little behind. Uh, and so for that, and just the sheer amount of support that uh, I've received on this series, your engagement, your comments, uh, tips, feedback, uh, it has been phenomenal, and certainly more than anything I could have asked for. Uh, the success of this series is far exceeding my expectations. Uh, I really love Vintage Story. Um, I, I've come to enjoy the game far more than I've enjoyed games in a long time. You know, I've really been stuck in this rut where video games just weren't doing it anymore. 
And then I found Vintage Story, and it brought me right back to a childhood when it was just games 24-7. And so I'm really excited to be able to share that experience and feeling with all of you. So let's take our raft with us here. And we have a basket on our back. Why don't we get another basket with us? As this does affect our movement speed, but it's not terrible. Um, it's pretty bad. And we have a reasonable trek to make. Let's, let's put this down. Yeah, we'll put this down, and I may grab this stuff later, because I do want to spend daytime working on the house. So let's figure out, you are my house supplies. So let's put you on my back, and I don't believe there's anything else I need right off the bat. So we'll just take our house supplies and go make a run for it. Now we do need to be mindful that there are, of course, bears. And I also want to be mindful of the fact that I am intentionally running around with very little to no food. So as we run across berry bushes, I absolutely want to be taking advantage of those. Just checking to see if there's any ores on the ground. Looks like we have some chickens, which is nice. And a rabbit. I want to check and see if uh, there's any berry bushes around because that can sustain us. Uh, but also, just as we're running around, uh, trying to see if there's any copper. Uh, not that we need any copper, there's plenty of copper where we were. Uh, but, you know, the more the merrier. I'm not seeing that many bushes, but I am seeing uh, at least this one here, which is good. Keep my eye out just for more. Okay, that's a start at least. And here, oh, actually there's some red currant bushes. And you can see there's plenty of wild crops in this area, which is great. Uh, we'll absolutely grab that green. And let's just grab these red currants. We'll eat those up. And then we'll grab these black currants as well. And I think we could probably eat those too. And that'll get us back to full hunger. And then, of course, we still have our meal of turnips. So why don't we head back here, and I do think this area right here is perfect for what I'm looking to do. So I want to get rid of this, because you are not a storage vessel. And I'm going to convert you into the home icon, because you are going to be our home. Now, in order to do this, I am going to definitely need another shovel, but maybe two. Let's get our uh, construction equipment down here. And for that, I'm going to need sticks and flint, which I don't necessarily have the stuff for, nor the inventory space for. So let's see here. Why do I have a stack of low fertility soil? It seems like the thing I don't need. We'll drop the stack of low fertility soil. It'll be there if we do need it. We have our flint right here. We're going to need one more flint at least, but we could find that no problem, I'm sure. And of course, we are going to need to find a stick, which is right here. Nope, oh, that was a berry bush. Alright, our stick should be in here. There it is. Perfect. And that flint, where art thou? Let's take a look. You're not a flint. I was going to say, I think I see Flynn right here. Okay, so I'll go put you here and here, and we can actually make two shovels, which is really nice, because uh, I have an inkling we may need the second one, so why don't we grab the second stick? Okay, and we'll go back to our chest, and let's go make this shovel. So, like I mentioned last time, this cozy cottage is heavily inspired by Paul Source Jr. Uh, from his Survive and Thrive series. In fact, it is as close as I can get to a one-to-one -one recreation uh, in this game. Is there anything I can just place down? Oh, how about our bed? And this oil lamp. Well, let me pick this dirt back up. Perfect. And then... We should actually be able to carry both these shovels. Perfect. 
And I'm going to need some logs, but luckily I've got wood right here. And we'll probably end up just going for, actually we have tons of, what is that? Whoa. got to be careful because, again, there's bears, but what the heck is this? This isn't like marble or something, is it? Ancient pillars. Wow, are we going to put that to use or what? Okay, um, I don't need a market because it's very clearly identifiable on the map. In fact, I'm surprised I didn't really... Whoa, there's a fruit tree right here. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll have to go check that out here. But I do want to get to building the house in the carrot patch. I do want to build a shrine. I do have some uh, build ideas in mind, and a shrine is one of them. So the fact that we have ancient pillars is really exciting to me. So this should be eight wide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And by six long. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And if I did everything correctly, we should come right out on this side. Perfect. Now we're gonna need to dig this hole three blocks down. And I'm just gonna break this shovel here. And it might even be worth seeing if I could build like a dirt pillar and then I could put some of these tools on the ground. I think that would help us clear up some inventory space. So we're going to need to dig this three down, and then the fourth one, grab some disturbed. Because I want this medium fertility soil just in case, pretty much. Now let's see if I can turn some of this just into a pillar. And i got to break you. There we go. And that gives me a little more wiggle room, and I can absolutely get my crocs on the ground. Oh, not like that enough. Okay, so that frees up a ton of inventory room. Um, I built this the wrong way. Whoops, let me fix that. I want it facing this way, which means I have to go here by two more blocks, and now I should have the shape that I want. So I'm going to dig out this foundation now that I've told you guys uh, what it is, and I'm just going to fill this in here, and I'm going to need some dark mud brick as well. Uh, shouldn't need all of it, but I will grab it just in case. I'm going to dig this foundation out, and I will see you all when uh, it is time to... Okay, so that is our foundation, and now we can put the floor down, which is going to be packed dirt, and this is because it's probably the nicest floor that we have right now, uh, but also uh, we want the packed dirt for the basement, uh, because I learned in another world, and I will share this wisdom with you, that dirt and stone is really all you want your basements to be made out of. Uh, wood is not good for your basement. Um, it leads to your basement still being a basement, uh, but significantly less effectively. So we may be a little short on the dark on the brick, which would most definitely be unfortunate, but definitely something we could recover from. Recover from. Okay. And I want you to go up like this, and I'll have you go over by one, and I actually want this to go out as well. So I need one, two, so I need eight more dark mud brick. And for that, I'm going to need a bit of grass, maybe 16, I think. So I already have four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and that should be six. Perfect. So let's get this going here. And eight dark mother. I was very close. So a stack plus 28 is what, whoa. I was gonna say, what is it? I hope I don't lose this brick. So if you didn't know, when you're breaking mud bricks, there is a chance that you actually lose the block uh, when you, how much, that's not gonna be enough durability. Uh, when you break the block, there's a chance that you lose it. And it is incredibly unfortunate when it happens. I just need a sandstone, here we go. And let's go make another annex. So historically, or traditionally, uh, this cozy cottage design is made with birch. I found that in Vintage Story, it really works with just about everything. It's a very versatile design. Um, but just where we do have birch trees nearby, I figured I may as well make it with birch. And we're going to need specifically 16 birch logs. So let me make my way over here. Let's see if I can't chop down a few of these birch trees and get our 16 logs. So with our 16 logs acquired, let's make our way back to the house, construction site that is. We don't really have a house just yet. Hey, is there anything interesting down here? Not I see right off the bat, but we'll have to check that hole out at some point. And before I forget, why don't we get this floor put in? The floor is going to stand up here, uh, which means that we have a three high basement, which I really like. Uh, I think three is the ideal height for uh, a basement or something like that in a block game. Uh, okay. Or, or for the interior of a house. Before we uh, go any further, and I'm just going to set this to pot, this is the game. I want to see how I deeper, uh, debark a log. And it looks like I need a hammer for it, so uh, we're not going to worry about that. What we are going to do then is we're going to make this to four high. So one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's a couple things we can do now. Uh, first, I can use these path blocks and get this out of the way. And we'll break these two here. Put my path blocks here. So we can path block our way in. That's good. And we'll get started with the light mud brick. But before we do, let's grab these things and I'm going to put the doors in. Just so that's one last thing taking up our inventory. Actually, I would like, I did that wall wrong. Oh, you can see I lost a mud brick, so hopefully I'm not one short. That would be embarrassing. I want to do these windows as windows of two, and you're going to be the windows of one here on the back. Let's see. I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay, I should only need 12 more, so we should be good on that front. Why don't we put the windows in while we're thinking about it? And we can move right on to the roof here. Oh, I thought I counted. Oh no, we did have one extra, didn't we? And let's get you in here. Just so we can get up and down quickly. And I need you, and I need you. So now for the roof, what we're going to do is we're going to do four and two. 
we'll do the same on this side. So I'll go four and I'll go two. There we go. So I made one thing too many of uh, the light much. Oh no. I'm so glad we got that back. I made exactly enough dark mud brick slabs. So that would have been really bad. And we're just going to top off this with the slabs. Perfect. And now oh, I will put the roof up. So I will see you all, as this is a slow and tedious process, I will see you all. Alright, and with the roof up, our cozy cottage is unofficially done. I say unofficially because one thing that I would like to do is I would like to create an entrance. I will go back one. Here we go. Create an entrance down to the basement. And I believe the basement stops right there. Perfect. I want to create an entrance down to the basement uh, from the outside so that we're able to keep a secure cellar. So we'll break our way in here. And as we got both of the blocks back, which is perfect, I will just create a little barrier here. Mm, no, I don't need to create a barrier because I could put the door just right here and that should be plenty. So that should be perfect. Let's put another pack dirt here, and I'll put a pack dirt here. We're going to use stairs going up to all this. And I do want to just surround this with dark mud brick. Although you're actually going to be a path block. So I'll put dark mud brick here, and I believe I have a couple more dark mud bricks. No, I don't. I'll need more dark mud brick for this, that's fine. Our knife really doesn't have a lot of durability. I could get maybe eight more bricks. So why don't we look at getting some more flint just so I can finish this off. Hey, butterfly. Or let's actually, let's move our stuff in first. Ooh, our food isn't looking too good either. Yeah, let's definitely move our stuff in. And then I can have a bite to eat. And I'm going to use this oil lamp here for our interior. And we're going to need a lamp of some kind in the basement as well. And I should have uh, bowls on me still. So I can use the bowl here to have a bite to eat. Uh, nope, I'm actually going to put the bowls right here. Perfect. Bowl with needle. We'll have our hearty turnip stew, which isn't going to do a ton for us, but it does enough to start at least. And our shovel's broken, that's unfortunate. Perfect. We got all our crocs now. Let's go and put all this away. And then I do just want to get one more knife uh, so that I can finish the dark mud brick and chalk the house up as done in its entirety. So let's go get one more flint. Where would I find a flint? Is there another one over here? Not immediately. Looks like we have some more stones right here, but no flint in them. How about over here? Oh, still no flint. I believe sandstone is too soft of a stone to make stone tools with. So I am reliant on finding a piece of flint. Why don't we take this opportunity to run back and grab one of our, uh, yeah, there we go, as we find four flint. Since we're already this far in this direction, why don't we take this opportunity to grab one of our baskets and just run back, because uh, I do believe I have flint in one of them. Um, and that would have taken us uh, right out of this predicament. 
Actually, before I finish up the mud bricks, it may be a good idea uh, to just bring all of these back. Uh, and I say that because it is not quite nighttime. It's about 5 o'clock, but it will be getting dark. And I most definitely do not want to be traversing this terrain in the dark, as it is very overgrown, and there are still bears wandering about, albeit we do not quite yet know where. I do think one of the bears did pass, the one that drowned in the last episode. Uh, look, and you can see our house and all its glory coming up in the distance here. And I saw Flint definitely grabbing you. I do believe one of the bears drowned, and that still leaves us with one bear, unfortunately. So I do want to keep that in mind. And as I'm just looking at the woods behind our house, I am seeing some pine trees, which I haven't really noted earlier. Um, but one thing that I'm sure you know with pine trees that's very important is they can have res uh, resin. And that resin is incredibly important for automating things in the mid to late game. So we're going to want to check the forest behind us once we've identified it as secure enough, basically. We're going to want to check the forest for uh, resin on those pine trees and we're going to want to collect it on a regular basis. There are some chores in Vintage Story that you want to be doing on a regular basis. Uh, like, I really like my oak trees, so I tend to get oak saplings as early as I can and start an oak tree farm, but I can be pretty darn slow at... Uh, we got pigs, nice. I can be pretty darn slow at actually um, harvesting the trees. Right, and so I waste a lot of valuable growth time and potentially a whole cycle of actual uh, tree, uh, maybe one or two cycles before winter, and certainly I could have uh, the oak wood that I need for my builds more, but I tend to be slow, and I tend to be slow with beekeeping, and I tend to be slow on finding pine, and so on. So I want to try to time all those things up so that we have chore days. And we'll likely have, I don't want to say chore episodes, uh, I had a wonderful comment because last question, uh, last episode I uh, posed a question about time lapses, whether to keep them or not. Um, and I did get a couple comments and I, I really do appreciate the comments indicating support for keeping the time lapses, uh, which is great. Uh, because as I was watching vintage story videos, I was noticing two things. Either nothing was cut out and nothing was edited and all of the gameplay like this was like this. It was running around with limited commentary, or uh, the content was heavily edited, and over the course of a few episodes, you were several, several months uh, into the game because of just how much of this grind was taken out. And so I wanted to find a happy medium when I started this series, and my happy medium uh, was the time lapses. So showing all the content still, uh, but doing so in a way that lets you speed through it. And I'm speeding up at about four times right now, which I feel like is fairly reasonable. Uh, if there is the need for a longer time lapse, then I may speed it up a little more. I am also playing around with adding music to the time lapses. I'd like to overlay some of the songs from the Vintage Story soundtrack. Um, but just in my initial tests, I haven't gotten the audio levels quite right. And so for that reason, it's uh, just not something that I feel comfortable doing. Um, but I am constantly looking to make improvements on this series. I am looking to find ways to reduce the sound of mouse or keyboard clicks you may be hearing. Um, I think I mentioned it last episode, I'm looking at getting a filter for my microphone to help with uh, the quality of my voice and how you're hearing my voice. Um, I believe the gameplay sounds are stable. I don't want to say good enough, um, but good enough for now, most certainly. Um, but I am constantly looking to find ways to improve. And one of the ways that I am looking to do that um, is through the actual editing of the videos. Uh, so I did get a comment suggesting that later uh, we look at doing montages uh, so what we'd be looking at doing is cutting basically in between and out a grind so i think a great example of something where a montage would be great 
is say I spend an hour quarrying, uh, which I would never want to spend an hour quarrying, but uh, once we hit bronze or iron tools, uh, most definitely I might grab a few pickaxes if we're working on a big build that requires it, and I'm working on a video, uh, then yeah, maybe I'll spend an hour just quarrying stone. And I could speed that up four times and have a 25 minute episode of nothing but uh, me grabbing stone uh, with some music in the background. Or uh, we could have a montage which cuts between some of the highlights of the grind or maybe uh, cuts between not just still frames or, or small snippets, but rather uh, takes the time lapse and divide. Uh oh, we are out of food. Okay. Well, I clearly wasn't paying attention. Don't yell at me, game. I was so caught up on running that I didn't even think to look at for our food. Uh, we should have berry bushes somewhere. Uh, luckily, you do starve incredibly slowly, uh, but it is pretty darn annoying. Mm, I'm really not seeing any berry bushes here. I'm actually surprised by the lack of berry bushes, if I'm entirely honest. Make our way over here. We can always pull, I know what we can do. Uh, actually, I know exactly what we can do because we found berries. Alright, I'll just grab some of you. Perfect, and that horrible noise can go away. Just what we like to see. We should actually take these berry bushes, since we have this cranberry patch right here, and we should put it up by our house uh, and have a little bit of berry bush fun. I think that would be great. Um, but we can also take some of this grain and turn it into porridge if we absolutely need to. Okay, so there we are, all moved into our house. And we do have, uh, we do have a spearhead, and that takes us into the next thing I'd like to do, is first of all, uh, we'll need to organize this, but I am just going to create a bit of a dump chest. Uh, and there's actually... It can take you, and I will put you... I will just plant you right here for now. And I can take... The <coughs> Oof, excuse me. Um, I can take this wood here, and I'll stack you along the side. And I'll take the rest of this wood, except for four of it. There we go, and we'll start a fire inside, so why don't we go do that, and I don't know, yeah, we'll throw the fire right here, that is fine. We don't need to actually start the fire, what we do need to do is grab our flint and make some spears, because I saw some sheep, and I do believe it may in fact be hunting time. There we go. So I'd like to make, I think four spears uh, should be enough, maybe five, but I believe it only takes three to put a sheep down and uh, dare I say I've gotten quite good at it. So let's make just four spears and then we can go hunting and maybe do a bit of cooking and probably call this episode there. All right, so we have our spears done. Perfect. We'll go put this flint away. And I will want to put some of our sticks away, but I don't think we have the chest space to. And okay, that should be perfect. It is nighttime, and I'm not really thrilled at the idea of hunting at night. But our food is so dire. I don't believe we'll even get through the night if we don't do a little hunting. So let's make our way back over here. Let's see a rabbit there. And I just want to have, yeah, right over here. Let's get a better look at this family of sheep. So there is a male and a female. Um, and I do believe this male is going to go after us here once I go after the female. Yep. So let's try to target her. Okay, 
So she's going to run, but he's mad at us. So we're going to have to let him con right down like that. No, he just lost halfway minus. But he should calm down here in a second. We calm down. Yes, okay. So she only needs one spear. She's back over here. Oh no. Oh. It was a different one. It was a different one. Okay. Okay. Well, that didn't work out very well, did it? Who's behind us? The male. Okay. And this is why I didn't want to do this in the dark. Okay. So now, we're not only hungry, we're badly wounded. <laughs> so maybe it's time to come up with a different plan. And for that, I don't think sleeping is the answer, unfortunately. I do want to see if we can find this green that we know is over here. Perfect. So mature flax. And while it's not ideal, uh, we can use this to create singular porridge. Although I'd like to see if we could find just a smidge more. And I don't want to venture too far in or towards these woods. We want to just see if we can find any. Mm, nothing really standing out. Why don't we head over here? And I suppose we can get that fire started. I'll eat. Well, actually, I don't know if I can cook with the three. I suppose I've never tried. Let's see. We could create one serving of porridge. Yeah, I suppose that would add to the porridge. So why don't we do this? And I'll actually put a, a torch up here, and we can use this down here to light up the basement. And I'm going to cover the basement off with hacked dirt, because uh, we can't use a good enough door, unfortunately. So our porridge is cooking, and I anticipate, uh, yeah, we're probably good with that one log. And hopefully this will just get us through the night. And next episode, we're definitely going to be hunting. I may actually take the opportunity to make a couple more spears. Uh, because we are going to be out with a vengeance. First of all, you know, I don't remember attacking those sheep. I actually feel like... Okay, well, you didn't have to exist. I don't know if you could hear that on your end, uh, but that was a wolf. And I really don't appreciate hearing a wolf around here. That means that we are going to have to do a smidge more hunting. Next episode, I've already thought of a name. I think it's very fitting, so I, I'll, I'll spoil it now, just give you an idea of what we're looking at doing. I'm thinking of calling it uh, Eat or Be Eaten, because that's exactly uh, what we're doing next time. We are securing our surroundings yet again. Apparently, uh, going to be fighting off some wolves, uh, but more importantly, we're going to be taking care of these sheep that were bullying us and calling us names. Let's go over here. And here's one. This must be the guy that was just hunting, fighting us. So let's go target him. And he is weak. We missed. Hey. Okay. It's fine. Wait for him to stop. I don't want to spook him. Got him. Okay. Oof. Honestly, did not know if we were going to get him. 
No fat, that's unfortunate. Let's make our way back over here to where we were originally hunting. I was gonna say my dark pillar should be right around here. And I should have more spears right over here. There's a spear. We ran straight this way. So we should find a female sheep down this way. Mm, where would she be? Maybe we pull. In the daytime, I'm sure we will, but just where it's nighttime, it's hard to see much of anything. Why don't we then grab some firewood and we can cook some more food? Okay. I did not expect you to be ready to consume the firewood, but I should have known better. Of course, it would still be hot. And I can make a one hefty red meat stew. So we have our... Oh, oh. What did I do? Oh, wow. Our timing was impeccable uh, because we have very high rift activity. And you can see the drifters are coming out in force. We'll take this opportunity to drop the sound down to 25%. Hey buddy, how are you? He said he's doing good. I'd love to build a perimeter wall around our base. I think that would look really good if we did like dark mud brick with some of these uh, rough hewn maple fences. Uh, that way our base doesn't look like this. Uh, whenever there's high rift activity, because this can get pretty annoying and kind of sketchy. Perfect. So this should bring us, I was going to say, that should bring us right up to the top. And we have this raw red meat cooking, so why don't we finish this raw red meat here? Wow, raw red meat really takes a long time to cook. A long time, actually. No wonder the, uh, the full stew... If you do six portions of it, takes forever. Are you guys done yet? No, they're not. Do you ever notice the drifters have no eyes? They just have a mouth. They're kind of like worms, almost. There. We have this cooked red meat. So, with the drifters in the background, or the foreground, uh, we will take this as an opportunity to say goodbye. We did a lot today. Uh, we got Cozy Cottage and all of our belongings squared away, and here we are in our new home and our new environment. But, as indicated by the drifters, this is an untamed environment. And while we've been comfortable in our last home, which is way over here, while we had been comfortable here, uh, we are now kind of in a new strange land. So we need to take some time to do some exploring next episode. You see we have some fruit trees over here. I have a fruit tree, I believe, fruit tree or something over here. We need to find new food and do some hunting. And we need to take care of our local wolf and bear problem. So that is what we have on the agenda for next time. I have been Finkel11. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. And don't forget to like comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.